second, but we'll move on. Um, just in terms of previewing a match that's a fortnight out, it's tough. So we've seen the attention to detail and the, the wonderful focus and concentration of the Joe Schmidt era. Now, are we going to see the other side of his playbook, that kind of Leinster running rugby that won them uh, the Heineken back in 2011? Well, he's got to move. Uh, he certainly has to change the game plan a little bit. and. Um, I'm not sure he's going to get the same kind of go forward from the malls. The scrums are going to be a big test. So he needs to come up with a different strategy. Mm. And, and I'm sure he will. They'll have a different plan going to Twickenham. They'll still have to be physical. Um, the key will be moving that English pack around. Is that, that's what they say. Is that the right thing? Eddie, you said, I mean, you've, you've come away from Twickenham with a win. But that, again, that kind of is the page one of the playbook. Beat a big English pack by moving them around. It's Does not it just work? about the it's pack. Not, yeah, it's not about moving them it's around pack. either. It's about yeah. just controlling the possession and actually striking at different areas of the field, not being predictable, not kind of running around the fringes all yeah. the time. But, uh, moving the point of context, isn't I it? Think the, 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 I think the key against a team like England, because they are so physical, is that you don't take them on physically all the time. I mean, Wales, we've always said, you need to front up physically against them. England, you need to box clever, move the ball away from fine space rather than collisions. Mm. And I think anything we've been successful against England, we've had that. Um, Let's had kick a game, it. Game. I, I think so, yeah. I mean, um, now, uh, to be fair, last year we had a very poor kicking day, um, you know, um, when we were at home and it cost us the game. I think our kicking structure is much better this year in terms of we know what we're doing. But you won't with all those contestables. And the one, the key one the other day, Lee Happen, he could have come up with that just as easy as not. So, there's a, there's, there's a balance to that, but I still think we have to move England around, not just as we say move them around, but actually look for space and find the space and go after the space, yeah. which means keeping the ball in hand more. And right. I, well, I, well, I, like, that'll be my take on yeah. Now, whether, whether yeah. he sees it the same way as different. Is well, I mean, all, at the end of the day, all that would count for nothing unless they win those battles up front. I mean, that's the scrum. We saw two years ago what happened to the scrum. They got annihilated. Mm. Uh, the line out, all lot, these areas. more the, promising the front, front row off. talent through yeah, now, though, two years absolutely. on. Absolutely. But the, the, the front <laughs> up collisions early on in that match are going to be absolutely massive. And and again, it just goes back to that consistency that you mentioned earlier and how do they keep bringing that? Because if they bring that consistency again and that intensity in everything they're doing, there's nobody going to stop them. There'll be a bit of frustration from the English, you know, the line selection, um, you know, not Leinster walloping Northampton, Hartley is there, um, you know, Wood is there. Mm. And, and there is the a Joe Schmidt factor yeah. now without overdoing the cult of personality. I mean, there is like Lancaster is regarded as a, a super good job. practical yeah. they coach. They kick a lot as well. Going, What's this guy going to do? They've been quite predictable in the last kind of 18 months and they've got there's a bit of flack for that. You know, when you meet some English guys, there's the, the former players, there's frustration that they're not getting, they're not moving the ball. Farrell kicks an awful lot. Mm. They're quite direct. They brought in Noel and May to the wings this year to try and get some pace in the wings, try and move the ball a little bit, but they'll revert to type a little bit against Ireland. They'll try and it's all about, Frankie mentioned it, the fundamentals, the collisions, the the, the boring it's, stuff if you like, yeah. but that intensity but how do you is win going to collisions crank up. eight against eight against uh, a, a pack it's, that's it's, twice it's, your size. It's, it's, it's not just in the it's pack, just, it's yeah, throughout it's a, the field. It's you know, when they're coming up the middle of the pitch, exactly. they gotta stop them and okay. And I I have just one request for, for everybody here in all media. Let's not mention this triple crown. Um, with the greatest respect to days gone by, I'm this, is, it now. this is no. Th I mean, this is Poor Eddie, there's this one, three is about. Of them next I know, <laughs> but this is about. Let's. We can talk about it after the end of the championship, yeah. if whatever we do. But let's start focusing that there's a championship now to be won. Mm. Right? If we drop a game, there's good points difference. Let's. Do so you think it's Jurassic? It's a relic I, I, of a bygone I think, era. I think we can celebrate it after this whole Six Nations is over, if we want. But mm. we're, we're halfway through a competition here. Let's not all get caught up. You've just winning. robbed Eddie's legacy there, yeah. like his footnote <laughs> in Irish rugby I history. I think there's huge value in it. Um, well, I, I think know. winning, beating England be and Twickenham be on it, its own. Beat England and let's go for a championship. Let's focus on yeah. that. Okay, we got to talk about selection because I mean, luckily. Um, notwithstanding, obviously, um, notwithstanding uh, the second row and you've done it, Ryan coming back, it also looks like there might be a couple of extra cards to play in the back line. Luke Fitzgerald, we're not sure of. Tommy Bowe, probably going to play rugby this weekend. And Joe Schmidt has said that, you know, and I think Paul O'Connell witnessed it after taking off after 55 or 56 minutes, he will change. Uh, he is ruthless when it comes to team selection. Do you expect many changes? I think. His terms of selection, if he's going to pick a guy, the guy has to be 100% fit and ready to go. He, he's, he's not going to take a risk on a guy's fitness. Uh, for that reason, I know Tommy Bowe is coming back. Tommy wants to probably play out of his skin um, okay. and really to nail it down his way to force there. his way in Okay, there. Frankie, quickly, any changes? Yeah, um, maybe someone like Dunnick Ryan onto the bench on account of Tuohy. 
Okay. Ryan Bow and Luke Fitzgerald, if they come, if they play next weekend, they have a chance. Uh, they're too good not to have him back in the mix yeah. somewhere. And there's a two-week, uh, there's a, at least that extra week before he has to make his selection. All right.